We got our first look today at one of the largest creatures that ever walked the earth, a dinosaur that weighed as much as a 737. The remains were discovered a decade ago in Argentina and taken by scientists to Philadelphia. Don Daler is there. So this starts the tale of Dreadnoughtus shrani. This With a 30-foot long tail and a neck that stretched two stories into the air, Dreadnoughtus shrani was king of the giants, seven times the size of a T-Rex. That's a toe. That's a toe? Yeah. Why Dreadnoughtus? Well, when you're 65 tons, um, you're not going to really have any enemies. And that made me start to think of the turn of the last century warships, the Dreadnoughts, which were the first real steel battleships and essentially impervious to previous technology. And so I thought Dreadnought as fears nothing. Paleontologist Ken Lacavara discovered the 85-foot-long dinosaur in Argentina when he spotted a part of a thigh bone. This was the discovery piece, and this bone was laying uh, horizontally just beneath the desert surface. By the end of the first day after we had those 10 bones, we knew there was a decent chance that it was a new species. And then after about a year total of field work, well, we were on paleontological cloud nine, I guess you would say. It turned out to be the most intact large dinosaur skeleton ever found. In the case of Dreadnoughtus, these animals got caught up in a river flood and they end up in this soupy mix of sand and mud, kind of like quicksand. And that's how you were able to find such a relatively complete skeleton. That's correct. Lacavara's team spent nine years excavating the fossils, packing them in plaster, and shipping them back to his lab at Drexel University in Philadelphia. When you find something and you know it's new, especially when you have a good idea that it's a new species, you're sitting out there in the desert and you realize, I'm the first person to ever see this. I'm the first person that knows this. That's a very special experience for any scientist. Lacavara has to return the fossils to Argentina by the end of this year. In order to continue studying them, the paleontologists digitally scanned every bone. You can do this in a virtual space and it just opens it up to the world. Hidden from sight for 77 million years, Dreadnought Ashrani is now visible to all. Don Daler, CBS News, Philadelphia.